Now what we'd like to do is get the query string as an object. The query string is obviously going to be useful for us later to be able to understand what the user is requesting or what the user is trying to modify. And so we're going to need to parse that as well. In between where we get the path and where we got the method, let's go ahead and insert just a quick comment about what we're trying to do here. What I said there is that we're trying to get the query string as an object. This is really simple. We're going to create a query string object variable and its value is going to be parsed URL. Remember the parsed URL that we grabbed at the beginning dot query. If you remember a moment ago, I talked about this parameter, the true or false Boolean that gets passed to URL.parse. Remember that this is telling URL.parse to go ahead and throw its query string operations to the query strings library built into Node so that this object that comes back, the parsed URL.query object that comes back, is the same as if we had used that query string object ourselves. Namely, what that means for our case is that when someone sends a URL with a bunch of query parameters on the end, you know, foo equals bar, etc., those are all going to be parsed and put nicely inside of this object with keys and values. Let's see what that means. And in order to do that, let's uh, log out what's coming out here as well. So we're saying that the request is received on this path with this method. And let's say with these query string parameters and then log out the query string object itself. All right, so let's go ahead and start up the app again, node index.js, and send a curl to curl localhost slash foo. We can see that the query string parameters that came back is an empty object. Why? Because we didn't have any query string parameters. So let's go ahead and write that curl request again, but this time let's add some query parameters on it. So we're going to add a question mark and then fizz equals buzz. All right, and we got hello world back again. If we look, the app has understood that the path was still just foo, that the method was get, but that the query string was set to fizz equals buzz. So that's how you get a query string object from a URL. And we can move on to the next section.